Hello and welcome to the Geek That Was. I'm Charlie. And I'm Alyssa. And I'm back. Went around the world and I, I, I. You know what I learned? What? Traveling, people hated Batman versus Superman. <laughs> Love the minions. If you're out there uh, thinking that I'm full of it, they have conquered the world. They're out there. They're out and they're there. they're taking over. <laughs> they're taking scalps and they're taking your children and drowning them in a river. <laughs> With love. Let's get into the news. 426 was Aliens Day, which kicked off a whole bunch of really cool Aliens gear being sold out instantly to sneakerhead bros. And since the Reebok Alien Stompers were only available in men's sizes, we know who they were really for anyway. So it's totally cool, Reebok. I can't imagine why any women would want to recreate one of the most iconic, badass female characters of all time by wearing her shoes. See, see, I want to read this news item, but every time you mention the new Ghostbuster movie, we get more dislikes and... See? Are you seeing this? More dislikes! Anyway, I was about to tell you that they're bringing back the Ecto Cooler. For a limited time, Coca-Cola is bringing back everyone's favorite citrus-flavored quasi-juice. Real talk, though. Don't you think it's a little weird that I think they wanted kids to feel that they were drinking Slimer, like Slimer's blood, taking Slimer into themselves? Is this a Catholic thing? Like, drink of the ecto-cooler, for it is my blood, and don't tell your parents. Yeah, okay, can't make a priest joke. We already got more dislikes. <laughs> Paramount and DreamWorks are trying to distance themselves from controversy after it was reported that their horribly whitewashed Ghost in the Shell live-action movie starring Scarlett Johansson may have commissioned their CGI team to make Johansson more Asian. They claim it was done related to a specific scene for a background actor which was ultimately discarded. Absolutely no visual effects tests were conducted on Scarlett's character and we have no future plans to do so. And I for one totally believe them. I also believe they have no future plans for a sequel because that's how bad this film is going to bomb. Disney has a lot of live action movies coming out, with a lot of women slated as directors, writers, and leads. Yay! Emma Stone is set to play Cruella DeVille in the new 101 Dalmatian spin-off, which is good news, I guess. At least they didn't put her up for Mulan. Her Universe came out with a line of incredible Force Awakens themed clothing for Hot Topic, featuring Phasma, BB-8, Rey, Poe, and all your faves. And the sizes range from extra small up to 3X, so anyone can channel their favorite character with these designs. But who knows what they really look like without actually trying them on. What I'm saying is I met Ashley Eckstein in Disney World at Star Wars Weekends once, and I think she owes me one. Give us the goods, girl. For all you Whovians out there who have stuck it out to see what a Moffatless universe is like, a new companion is on her way. In a newly released featurette, Pearl Mackie was introduced as Bill, an incredibly charming new addition that hopefully will not fall in love with the Doctor this time. I'm so excited, I've already written two fanfictions based on her wearing a print shirt and going backward in time to save the purple one. Now I'm sad. Is this what it sounds like when Daleks cry? <laughs> So we watched Game of Thrones this week and nothing happened. Nothing happened! It was a total place setting episode, which I appreciate because they, they set their table so nicely <laughs> for you to die at. First of all, there was no question of Sansa and Theon being dead, which they like totally left open like, ooh, like did they die? And like they didn't even try to pretend that, like, obviously they're not dead, so. I'm glad they didn't pretend. My heart can only take so much. She's been through enough. The film and the wheezing with Theon and jumping, I was just like. No, I'm mad at the last season for doing that and being like, haha, wait and see. And it's like, obviously, they're fine. Ghost is howling up a storm now. He's all upset. What's he doing? He's not saving John. That's true. Did they did they lock him up? Yeah. Is that a thing? They lock well, he could have escaped if he tried. Ghost. <laughs> Ghost ghosted? Is that what you're trying to say? He ghosted <laughs> on John's fault. Dog in Who this is fight? not dead. Like, I, I appreciate that the showrunners have to say he's not dead and we want to like have that mystery, but he's not he's not dead. Come on. He's a Targaryen. Probably. I haven't read the books. But like, he's Targaryen. Just put him on a fire. And it'll like He'll plump when you cook him, it's fine. Ooh. So the, the poster art uh, for the season, which I always feel like gives you a little clue in, I mean, they literally had the poster art come to pass last year when the, the dragon comes up in the Tyrion season. So we knew to expect that. So I think we should know to expect that uh, the many face gods temple where Arya was studying was wink wink. I think, so we're, I feel we're gonna see Lady Stoneheart, we're gonna see Caitlyn come back. And I think Jon Snow's coming back. I, again, have not read the books, so this is not a spoiler, this is just speculation. And don't tell us if you read the books. Don't, don't be do that, that, okay? Just don't. 
Although now, now the show is basically what I hear has gone past the books. So who knows what could happen in this crazy, crazy world that George R. R. Martin hasn't even thought of yet. Musical episode? Everyone singing? It could happen. It could happen. <laughs> Hoder's musical solo. Hodor, oh, oh, oh. Door. And then he oh, drops the door. bass because I hear he's a DJ in real life. Oh, he <laughs> is. That is real. I bet he's great. DJ Jazzy Hoder. <laughs> Hoder's on the one and twos. <laughs> or Hoder's on the Hoder's and Hoder's. <laughs> We're really excited about this season of Game of Thrones. Talk to us uh, on Twitter. Uh, as the season goes, we're not gonna cover it every week. There are a million YouTube shows, and now they have an after the Game of Thrones show with uh, Greenwald, who is Grantland, and actually everyone who ever wrote for Grantland is now on the after show of HBO, which I love. We're gonna watch uh, and talk to you about Civil War. Uh, Spider-Man's. What team are you on? I Civil literally War? don't know. <laughs> I feel like I have not been educated enough to pick a side, and everyone just seems upset. I just want everyone to be friends. I'm on team friends. You're a team Iron Man. <laughs> so I, I, I read the Civil War series, the crossover event, and I have no idea how like hard they're gonna like cling to those stories there. But if they do, which I think they are, and the fact that it's a Captain America movie, I'm fairly certain they're gonna plead a good case for Captain America's side. So I'm, I'm team Cap. This is, but is too good. Like he's up to something suspicious. To his butt is too good. Have looked this way, and I don't trust him. <laughs> don't trust that booty. <laughs> so if you do too many squats, you're not to be no, trusted. No, no, because you're up to something, and it's looking amazing. And who knows what anyone could do with that kind of power? No one mentioned it all of that power. <laughs> I ain't never seen a ass like that. That was the geek that was. It happened. Let it go. Join us next time because we're talking about Civil War and it will be past my birthday, so tell me happy birthday in the comments whenever you, whenever you want. Do it this okay. video, do it next video. Just do both. Uh, there's an Alyssa fan club out there. I see you commenting. Did you know that I have a YouTube channel? <laughs> the one on the left's really pretty. <laughs> hey, everyone else is also great. You're great, Nikki's great, April's great, Claire's yeah. great. I didn't me. mention it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nikki Black. We're gonna see more of Nikki around. We really, really have a big crush on her, and she's awesome and funny. And yeah, yay for Nikki and more of her stuff on her channel. And thank you, Claire, who is behind the camera, as always, for stepping in. And we have a lot of love to give our ladies. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Watch lots of television. Don't talk to your family. What?